Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. You are still with me, Madam Nur Nadira binti Omar. Or you can call me Madam Nat. But in this video, you are going to proceed to the subtopic 1.2, which is carbohydrate. And this subtopic still in chapter 1, which is molecules of life. So stay tuned. Outcome. Hopefully, at the end of this video, you can state the class of carbohydrate such as monosaccharide, disaccharide, and polysaccharide. Basic information about carbohydrate. For information, carbohydrate is organic molecule. Means it is made up by three important elements, which is carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And the ratio of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen is 1 to 1. The empirical formula for carbohydrate is... Example of it is glucose. Glucose has 6 carbon, 12 hydrogen, and 6 oxygen. Carbohydrate can be divided into three classes. Monosaccharide is a simple sugar. Disaccharide, double sugar, and polysaccharide, which is the complex sugar. But in this video, we're going to focus on monosaccharide. Monosaccharide is a simple sugar. The general formula for monosaccharide is example is glucose. And for monosaccharide, every single sugar they end with us. For example, glucose. Fructose. Monosaccharide can be classified according to two criteria. First is the position of the carbonyl group. The carbonyl group is C double bond O. And the second one is based on number of carbon present in the structure or molecule. Number one, according to location of carbonyl group. Monosaccharide can be divided into two, which is aldose and ketose. For aldose, the position of carbonyl group is located at carbon number one or at the end of carbon skeleton. And this is example for aldose sugar. Look at the position of carbonyl group. The carbonyl group, as I mentioned, is C double bond. Oh. For keto sugar, the carbonyl group is located at carbon number 2 or within the carbon skeleton. Look at the position of carbonyl group from the example given. If according to number of carbon atom present in molecule, monosaccharide can be divided into three groups. First is triose means the sugar contains 3 carbon and this is the example group 2 is known as pentose means the sugar will contain 5 carbon atom and this is the example and group number 3 we call the sugar is as hexose because the sugar will contain 6 carbon atom and this is the example of hexose this is several characteristics for monosaccharide but please make sure this first three s you must remember simple the first monosaccharide is simple sugar it cannot be break down second all monosaccharide has a sweet taste Number three, all monosaccharide is water soluble. Characteristic number four, all monosaccharide they are reducing sugar. Number five, monosaccharide can be crystallized. The most important structure that you need to remember and know how to draw is structure of glucose. Glucose is example of monosaccharide. Glucose will present in two different forms. Alpha glucose, 
beta glucose. Make sure you alert with the position of hydroxyl group, which differ in alpha glucose and beta glucose. So that is the end for our video discuss monosaccharide. I will see you soon in disaccharide video. Bye!